right, we are done in Champaign, Illinois. Like I said, we had a, uh, a one, night, uh, one night layover here. I mentioned it once before, beautiful little park. Uh, very nice, right off the highway. We just found it by luck. We needed a place to spend the night, but uh, it happens like that. Occasionally you find little gems, but that's it. Today's a, uh, the actual move day. Uh, I know that we moved yesterday, but today's actually a move day. So we're packing up. Uh, we took a little, you know, we, we shot a little video or a few pictures of this place, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. But today is move day. We are leaving Champaign, Illinois. We're going to take about a three hour, three hour drive, and we're heading out to a place called Milton, Wisconsin. Milton, Wisconsin. It's up, uh, up in the uh, middle part of Wisconsin, up around the uh, Wisconsin Dells area. And uh, again, if you guys are willing to come along for the ride, well, we'd be happy to take you with us. So thank you again. And this shuts this uh, video off for uh, Indiana and Illinois. What's up, guys? So welcome back. A quick update. We made it. We are now in Milton, Wisconsin. We are at another Thousand Trails Park. This one happens to be called Lakeland uh lakeland campground and rv it's in uh it's in milton wisconsin huge campground over 800 sites uh and believe it or not i didn't even realize because i guess when when you're out here you know the days run together and, and you forget what day of the week it is but uh i guess it's a long weekend and uh when we got here they told us that they were fully booked okay so every single 800 sites is jam-packed uh, now, this particular site that we're on right now, just a, just a little information on, on real life. So this is actually a pull-through site that we're on. Pull-through means no backing, just, just pull through. Probably the toughest site to get into thus far. Uh, everything worked against us. Tight turn, uh, another power pole on the back end, which was... Uh, very sketchy with a tail swing of the RV, just uh, just 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 not easy. Okay, it was kind of difficult. Uh, on top of that, this is the first time that we are actually. Uh, I think I explained it to you guys once before. If I didn't, I apologize. This is a 50 amp uh, coach. Uh, that way we can run the two air conditioners that that the uh, coach has. Uh, this particular site that we're at right now, first time ever. This is a 30 amp site. So I had to use a, uh, basically a, uh, what's called a dog bone, which reduces the cables from the plug from 30 amp down to, uh, to 50. So we plug in 30 amp and it reduces, you plug in 50. The only problem with that, that you have with that is that you can only run one air conditioner at a time. However, uh, we're only gonna be here four nights. I don't believe that's gonna be an issue because I was checking the weather. Uh, the weather has been in the uh, mid 60s at night, which is absolutely beautiful. And we are in a, we're right underneath a huge tree. Hey, look who came, look who showed up to say hello. So this is Nugget, by the way, guys. He's the uh, camp boss. Uh, we're right underneath a huge tree that uh, gives us shade. So I don't think we're going to have a problem. But we're here for four nights and uh not really sure what we're going to do yet here in milton but uh when we figure it out we'll share it with you guys so what's up guys good morning it's a new day here in uh, milton wisconsin and today we're going to head out and do a couple things i mean there's not a lot to do in, in in milton but it's a nice place let me tell you we woke up to 66 or 65 degree weather last night no air conditioners we slept with our windows open unbelievable oh and by the way zero humidity uh but uh it's a nice place but in keeping with uh my thoughts of bringing you guys uh you know the reality of rv camping full time i wanted to share something with you guys today it's a hack that i picked up it's a hack that i picked up from another rver and uh it has to do with stuff like this Okay, so see this tree here? There's our RV. Uh, oftentimes when you arrive, you really don't know. Look up here. You see this slide here? You really can't tell 
uh, why, when you're parking, how far you are from these items. Or let me flip this around here. You have the uh, power pole right there and the water and stuff like that. Now, in this particular site, we're kind of, we're, we're obviously a little far away. But uh, in the site that we were at before, we ran into an issue where we were getting really, really close and, and we really couldn't tell. So what I'm going to do this morning is show, share with you guys that hack that I picked up. Uh, so it involves a measuring tape, which Myrna my co-pilot so when we arrive at seat at sites you know she jumps out with her radio and i have a radio and she communicates to me if i'm getting near something and stuff like that so uh when she gets out of the coach she usually tells me okay you're good or no you need to move a little bit away from the from the power pole or you too close to the tree and that's where this tape measure which she carries in a little grab bag uh what which i'll show you guys in a second uh this is where this tape measure comes in and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the hack. Okay, so let's start off with the, uh, this slide right here. This slide happens to be the, uh, the kitchen slide. So inside here is the refrigerator, uh, the microwave, the stove and stuff like that. So let's start off here. So this slide extends, oh, hold on. This slide extends from the RV 23 inches so instead of having to remember let's 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 be safe let's put it at 24 but instead of having to remember uh, the distance I'll show you guys the hack doesn't seem like much but when you are when you are parking and you're going through uh, all your stuff uh, you know eliminating complex things is the, is the way to go so basically, at the 24 inch mark, I took a Sharpie, like that one, and I just drew a line, and I put a K for kitchen. So now, she doesn't have to remember how far that slide reaches out. She just opens up her tape, realizes, okay, K's for kitchen, puts it on there and says, nope, you're good, because remember, when we pull up, the slide is obviously closed. So she puts it up, and she can just, she can tell me, you're good. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on the other slides, that affect the working side of the coach. So it turns out that the den slide and the bedroom slides are both 30 inches. So very simple. I just add a D and B and uh, that should take care of that. So that's just a uh, very simple, very simple hack that I picked up from, uh, from an, another RVer and uh, that covers that. Now I'm gonna show you real quick uh, Myrna's uh, grab bag that she uses every time we arrive. All right, so uh, every time we arrive at a site and Myrna jumps out uh, to guide me in or help me, this is her grab bag. This is what she jumps out. She keeps this on her side of the truck. And inside this grab bag, she has a flashlight, a radio to communicate with me. The other one's inside the cab of the truck. She has that uh, tape measure that I we just did that hack on. Uh, and she has a pair of gloves in case she has to uh, check the uh, power pole to make sure that uh, it has power or anything like that. She has her own pair of gloves. And by the way, uh, I mentioned that I picked up the hack from another YouTuber, uh, another gentleman hit by the name. His name is Jared Gillis with All About RVs. Uh, I'm telling you, if you guys have RV questions, uh, by all means, don't, don't come to my site. I mean, I like you guys and I like sharing the, uh, my videos with you guys, but when it comes to RVs and stuff like that, guys like Jerry Gillis, and you should check out his, uh, you should check out his, uh, his channel. It's uh, all about RVs. That guy's been a full timer for several years with a family and he has some great videos, do it yourself videos. Uh, you guys need to check him out again, Jared Gillis with all about RVs. All right, so we headed out this morning and uh, actually this early afternoon uh, to check out a few sites around the Milton area. This is actually uh, uh, Rotary Gardens, uh, Rotary Botanical Gardens, and it's about 10 miles uh, to the west of uh, Milton, Wisconsin. So we came out here to check it out and uh, let's go inside.
What's up guys so it's a uh, it's actually not the next day it's two days later I hope you guys enjoyed the the footage from the botanical gardens we thought it was kind of cool uh, Myrna loves all that flower and garden stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed that so today we are out and about we are heading towards a place called ice age trails we're gonna go check that out ice age trail is actually uh, several segments I don't know how many, but I do know that they total upwards of 64 miles uh, when it gets completed, and it's throughout the Wisconsin area. Now, this particular trail that we're on is actually uh, starts off in downtown, the city of Milton, city of Milton, Wisconsin, and it starts off in the actual town. It's not it's not your typical trail that you would see, uh, you know, through the woods and stuff like that. It's kind of cool if I if you see behind me here we're uh, we're in the middle of the, we're in the middle of the town right there is the uh, the back side of the picture that I just sent you the Milton house and this is right in the middle of town I'll show you something cool here this is right in the middle of downtown Milton now by the way the city of Milton has about 5,000, if I read it right the other day, it was, it was only like 5,200 and something uh, uh, population. This is uh, one of the open fields right in the middle of, uh, of Milton. Okay, so as we get a little further down this, uh, this trail, let me clarify a few things. So the 64 miles worth that I uh, mentioned before, that is the Wisconsin uh that is the Wisconsin clip of it. Uh, the trail actually spans over a thousand miles and it highlights the uh, glacier remnants of, of the ice age.
actually cool. So this is a small store right in the center of town. And you have a vegetable table here. And here, check out this sign. You may not see it because of the glare. It says community table, take what you need and pay what you can afford. Have a great holiday weekend. All right, so uh, there goes the Ice Age Trail. As you can tell by the background, we're in the, we're back inside the truck. So, like I said, if you're somewhere that uh, you're experiencing a, uh, a drought and you want rain, just call us, we'll come by, because it seems to be following us around on this journey. Alright, so uh, we're back now at the resort and we just went out for a walk with the dogs and I'll show you what the, this campground's all about here. It is a long weekend, it's a holiday weekend, but uh, I think they got a cornhole competition going on. <laughs> 